What's up guys, Rich here. Um, so I apologize if this is a little jarring for you. This is usually a sneaker page, um, but it's not going to be anymore. Uh, I'm gonna be retrofitting it into more of a hobbyist page. Uh, maybe we'll talk about sneakers a little bit, but probably not. Uh, I don't really do that anymore. Uh, I probably haven't bought sneakers in a couple years now. Um, and I haven't really touched this page in a couple years. Uh, so we're just gonna be doing a few things that are a little different. Uh, I've started collecting knives, which I find very satisfying as a hobby. Um, I'm really into tech. I like talking about movies and TV. Uh, I got a cool electric scooter that I like riding around. I'm into basketball, I'm into running. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things that I'm gonna be touching on. And if you guys feel like you wanna stay tuned to it, then I, I'm glad to have you here. But if you don't, um, I think this page is gonna start being a lot more for me than it is for uh, any sort of sponsorship gain. Uh, or popularity. It's just something that, uh, that I, I can do for myself as a creative outlet. And what we're gonna be doing today, just talking about knives. I'm gonna be doing a comparison video for aftermarket scales for the Benchmade Bug Out. Um, this video is gonna have zero production value to it because I don't, I don't really care. I just kinda like to get my first video going so I can get my creative juices rolling in general. Um, Plus, it, this is a really useful video. I really could have used this video when I was getting into customizing knives, and uh, I think it's gonna be really useful for, for a few people out there. Uh, let's get into it. So I'm gonna give you guys a much closer look at the Flytanium Custom. Everything on this knife has been replaced with Flytanium product. That's the raw titanium scales and backspacer, anodized titanium hardware and anodized purple thumb studs. So what we've got here is a 20 CV blade. Both of these bug outs are using a 20 CV blade. So the first thing that you'll notice about this guy is that it's quite a beefy handle. Um, it's quite sizable and there's actually uh, extra material in some places like in this contour here that drops down towards the front of the knife. Now the standard version of the bug out does not have these. Uh, if you take a look here, this is a bug out from the Benchmade Custom Shop. Uh, I have had the FRN scales too before. I don't have one of those right now because I took it apart because the FRN scales are trash. But if we get back on track here, uh, the G10 scales are very nice actually. They don't really flex at all, um, but it, they're very light. And sometimes I feel like the balance of the knife leans a little too far towards the front. Well, that's not a problem once you get these aftermarket titanium scales in because that brings a lot of the weight into the handle of the knife. And I feel like I have a lot better control with it. But as I was saying, you can see here that the handle on the Flytanium is just beefier almost everywhere. And most noticeably in that contour that comes down, that contour is not present on a standard bug out scale. Now, if we go and we take a look at the finish here, it seems to be some sort of blast or washed finish. Um, Personally, I think it looks a little bit crude, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I wish it had a little more polish to it. Um, but overall, it feels really nice in hand because of that extra material. Um, but you are starting to get a little bit away from what makes a bug out a bug out at that point, I feel like. Um, but if your primary concern is to get a, a better grip and more rigidity into your bug out, this is a great option. Um, if we're still talking about that finish too, if you look here, um, just the way everything kind of goes together on this knife is, is a little crude to me. You know, there's, there's some gappage here and I, I attempted to tweak that multiple times so that it didn't really look like that, but that is how it is designed to look. Um, and some people may enjoy that and I just wish it had been a little bit, uh, a little bit of a more smooth look. Um, 
if we move on to the action here, the action for this guy is pretty solid. Um, I can get it to, to fall shut with a little bit of a shake, so I guess that's, that's shake shut. Um, when I had it completely fall shut, there was just, there was too much blade play and I didn't enjoy that. Um, so I've got it to a point where I kind of enjoy uh, how it feels. In general, there's no blade play, you can see it all. Um, but I do wish that the action was just a, maybe just a tad smoother. Um, because it does catch sometimes. And I just wish that uh, I could get it to the point where it was just a, a little snappier. You can kind of see what I mean there. Um, on to the uh, functionality of these scales. If we take a look at that blast finish, let's let's take our thumb and really press down. And you see, I'm really pressing, and it's it's a rather smooth finish, if I'm being honest with you. And the honest truth is that most of the things you're going to be doing with a bug out aren't really going to be. Uh, that big of a deal in in terms of needing that kind of grip but it's it's something to note overall I think this is a really solid product um, it has a couple of points that I'm not thrilled about but it does have some strong points too like the ergonomics like the comfort like that that sizable feel if that's what you're looking for um, so flytanium is is a really easily recommendable product um, it's it makes for a really decent knife and this is i think a thousand times better than either of the standard scales even though i do enjoy the g10 scales somewhat now we're going to take a look at the rock scale design custom you see they've got a really spectacular finish on it there really cool anodized backspacer you guys can see the color changing in that a little bit catching that a little bit of sun on it hardware and thumb studs also from rock scale design this is just a really really beautiful knife let's take a look at the action on this guy which is ultra smooth uh, this is <laughs> After I had this thing together, and this is the first custom knife I've ever built in my life. I was super proud of this guy, but as soon as I had this thing together, I knew it was the ideal EDC blade. And the action on this guy is just incredible. Um, it's ultra, ultra smooth. Really easy to deploy. Um, a lot of different methods. You can do the spidey flick, you can do the thumb flick. I like to do this double finger throw, which feels really satisfying sometimes. Uh, and then of course the wrist flick, which is my favorite. Um, but the action, as you can see, super smooth. It's a lot smoother than it is on the Flytanium. And same thing, no blade play whatsoever. Nothing, rock solid. And I'm super, super impressed uh, by this knife with these scales on them. Um, 20 CV again. If we're looking at the fit and the finish of this guy, I think this is a really polished looking knife. Um, this looks and feels like a luxury item. Uh, everything about it feels very expensive and it still gives you that, that solid feel in hand, that rigidity um, that you're looking for without giving you that bulk that the Flytanium tends to give you. Uh, it doesn't have those contours. As you can see, the shape is a lot more similar to the standard bug out scale. And I think that's overall a good thing because if you add too much size onto the, onto the scales, you're kind of getting away from what makes a bug out a bug out, right? Um, we're looking for that really low profile, really slicey blade that disappears in your pocket. And this still maintains that overall feel. Talking about fit and finish, I think rock scale design wins this by far. Um, you see everything just looks like it blends together so nicely. Um, the backspacer, even the hardware looks great in there with that aluminum blast. Um, this version in particular has no lanyard hole, which I thought was a very clean look and I went for on purpose. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, 
this thing is is so so cool let's uh let's talk about that finish for a second too let's get down put that pressure on it and just <sighs> so you can see it has a little bit more grip it's not the grippiest knife ever but it has more than the flytanium version so which one of these knives am i going to go with if i had to carry one of these and only this for the rest of my life which one is better I'm gonna go with the rock scale design. Um, it's got superior fit and finish, aesthetics, profile, feel in hand. Um, I just really feel like this feels like a luxury item. It's got such amazing action to it. You can really fiddle with this thing all day and it's super entertaining. And it's still got the strength, rigidity, and cutting profile to get any daily task done for you that you might need. It's really just a really impressive, fantastic knife. And uh, the Bogo in general is great, but, uh, and both of these products are great, but if you're looking for the best possible bug out that you can build yourself, uh, you gotta go with rock scale design.